Welcome to Cornell Cooperative Extension's Choose Local Fish, local seafood cooking demonstration videos. By choosing locally harvested seafood, you can be sure your food is fresh, indigenous, sustainable, and healthy. Each purchase of local seafood supports the economic viability of fishermen, coastal fishing communities, and small businesses. Let's join culinary nutritionist Stephanie Sachs in the kitchen as she shows you how to prepare this locally caught fish. So this here is a ceviche recipe and I have local striped bass. So this is from my fishmonger and I asked him to clean it and to actually fillet it for me. So he did that and then of course I used my method with lemon, salt and water to clean the flesh. So just follow me here as we move through this recipe. To make it simple, I'm using a covered container so I can just use this technically as a bowl and then easily cover this because once we make this dish, it's gonna store in the refrigerator. Because what happens with ceviche is you actually have lemon and salt that are cooking your fish or cooking your fish for you. So the first thing I'll do is cut the fish. Now this is a really thick, fleshy fish. It has a mild flavor. So I cut it down into strips like so. Some people like their ceviche with larger chunks and some like it with smaller chunks. And you can also use different types of fish, so it doesn't just have to be the striped bass. You can use fluke, we often use fluke. You can use um, monkfish, you can use uh, scallops even. Look at that, that's absolutely gorgeous fish. So fresh. So here we have our cut fish. And now I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So the recipe calls for lime, tomato, garlic, cilantro, and salt. So that's all we're gonna use. And jalapeno, can't forget the jalapeno. So we've got our garlic. I'm gonna start by chopping my garlic. And what you wanna do with the garlic is you wanna take your knife and smash it just like so. Okay, and I'm gonna mince my garlic, not too finely. I'll just run the knife like so. There go, garlic going in. What's wonderful about this dish is you can have it plain. You can actually mix in some avocado, which is really nice. Um, you can eat it with tortilla chips. You can put it on a tortilla. There's so many ways to have this delicious dish. So now I'm quartering my tomatoes, like so. And it will probably sit for about an hour before it's ready to eat. And if you don't have these small baby tomatoes, you can just use a larger tomato and just cut the tomato into small chunks. Like a small to medium dice would be just fine. If you want it spicy, you put a decent amount of jalapeno in. Uh, if you don't want it too spicy, you put a little bit, or you don't have to put any at all, depending on what your palate calls for. I always like to tell people to look at all of the colors, so wow how gorgeous this is, just these colors coming together. Um, we've got our cilantro here. So I, I kind of just run my knife along like that and shave some off like so. As you cut it, it's so strong and so delicious. Follow me outside to get some chives. So I'm gonna just cut like so. And now I'm gonna cut them. And again, you can use scallions, you can use red onion, you can use yellow onion, white onion. But since I have the chives, um, more cost effective for me and for all of you to use what you have. So, so in it goes, like so. Okay, so now we're gonna finish off our ceviche with some lime, and a little bit of olive oil. You can use a citrus press, which I'm gonna be using, or you can use a juicer. So here we go. So now I'm gonna take some salt, 
and put my salt in. It's about a full teaspoon and I'm gonna finish it with some olive oil, like so. The olive oil just gives it a little more body. Take this and mix it around. Wow, the smells are so extraordinary. And the colors, oh my gosh. You can see the colors here, it's just absolutely beautiful. So the citrus and the salt are actually gonna cook this fish right now. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, close it up. We'll let it sit for about an hour. Okay, going into the fridge to grab my ceviche. Okay. So this has been marinating for you know an hour, hour and a half, and it is absolutely exquisite. And I'm gonna show you a really nice way to serve it. You can keep it in this bin here. Um, and just eat it over the course of the next day or so. Two days, three days is good. You're gonna have people over, or you can serve it to your family. Just put some in here, like so. Make sure to get some of the juice. You can open up a bag of tortilla chips, and you can just toss some in here, like so. And voila, here's your ceviche. Thank you for choosing Local Fish. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Also, please check out the description below for links to more information about Local Fish species, more recipes, where you can purchase this local fish, and a lot more. Thank you.